Here we are at Mount Hagaro. This is the first mountain on the Dewa Sanzan pilgrimage of rebirth. And I'm going to show you how to play this instrument called the Horagai or the conch. Why don't we take a look? We play the Horagai conch to tell the gods and the Buddha of the mountains that we are making an appearance. We also play the conch to purify the grounds that we go into. This is Jiji Sugi, the grandfather Seda, said to be 1,000 years old. And behind us we have the five-story pagoda, which was built in 1372. When we go to a spiritual location where the gods live, we first announce our arrival with the conch. We would say our prayers and we finish with the conch as well. I also played the Horagai conch over the Haraigawa River. That was traditionally where Yamabushi would actually go into the river to do a purification before climbing up into the mountain. So the Horagai has no reed. It's just a hole that goes straight into the shell, so the, uh, the sound reverberates inside the shell and comes out and so when you hold it you hold it so this part is facing outwards like like this so that the sound goes that way um, I think it's also okay to hold it left-handed as well um, I normally hold it with my right hand grabbing the shell here so I can get it a good grasp there are three notes that you can play well there are actually more but I don't know how to play them so it goes bum 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 Bum, 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 bum. When it comes to blowing it, you can't just go, you can't just blow air out of your mouth. It doesn't work like that. You have to make your lips tight. So I'll show you what happens if you try to blow just normally. Yeah, so you got to pluck at your lips and keep air inside your mouth as well, which sustains the sound. It's important to think about the air in your stomach as well because you need this air to be able to get to that third note. Usually what you want to do if you're starting out is aim for the second note because the first note is you just blow. So your lips are puckered. It's like on the trumpet except Yamabushi we play the horogai when we're walking so we don't play with the front of our lip we play with the side just here and you pucker your lips and force air through it so it takes a lot of practice to be able to do that it's like like you're blowing a raspberry but with this part of your mouth and then to get to the higher notes you actually make your lips go even tighter and then to get to the really high note even tighter still tighter but with more airflow which is where your stomach comes into play so first you blow like that like and then you go even tighter that's that's what I'm doing when I play it but once you get used to it it's it's not that difficult and it's really fun the first note is very deep and then the second note is and then you've got to add a third note as well which is not at all easy it takes a lot of practice it took me a lot of practice 
it took me it took me more than a year to be able to learn how to play it well. I really learned really well when I did a week-long training uh, last year in 2019. I had a really good teacher who told me to, how to use my stomach. So you can see this orange strap as well. It's called a kaino. The yamabushi we use during the Akinomini Iri Autumn Peak Ritual in August, from August 26th every year. It's a week-long yamabushi initiation training. And so the kaino literally means the rope that you strap around a shell. When we do the Akinomini Iri Autumn Peak Ritual, we have the kaino as like kind of like a belt that holds the blue and white checkered suri. That's where the, the word kaino comes from. So first, I would say aim for the second sound. So, because that sound is harder than the first sound, which is. Once you can do these two sounds, you put them together. And you want to be able to play for a long time as well. That's why you need to have good lung capacity. Then you join the first down. The next part is the, the third sound, which is not easy. You've got to use your gut. third sound you're quite forcefully putting air into it while puckering your lips even tighter and let me tell you it sounds much better on the mountains as well I tried it in my home I couldn't get it right but now that we're out here in, in nature amongst the cedar trees of Mount Hagoro and the five-story pagoda the horror guy know that it's home thank you